12 waiting. Wow. That's a good sign. You're what? We're live. We are live on a Friday <laughs> evening. That's how I feel, Rose, because I'm always scrambling. I'm always scrambling last minute, no matter what. Today I was kind of late because I had a haircut, had to go to Whole Foods and get stuff for dinner. Then I come home, UPS guy was here, another guy was here. This is happening. What are you going to do? It's all good. We're making a bomb dinner. What, what, what do you want? You want the chickpea miso? Ah, we're making ramen soup. We're, uh, this is one, a great recipe from our first cookbook. Let's see if Rose likes this. And one of the secrets to it is bone broth, which I have a sick promo code for y'all today. And it's miso paste. Now, let's see if Rose likes this. This is a very fermented, funky flavor, but Rose has been known to like it. Just a little bit, Rose. Try just a little bit. See if we like it. This is the key to the dish because it's fermented umame. Is it good? Rose has the most amazing, she likes the miso. The miso? She likes it. Wow. Fermented umame, rich collagen bone broth, grass-fed ghee cooked with yeah. umame rich wild and crazy yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. Is it, you can't play with this one. This one's expensive, Rose. Uh, simmered with some vegetables, seasoned properly yeah. with low-carb pasta zira. <laughs> Noodles to make it keto, gluten-free, diabetic-friendly, free of everything but, does he? Flavor. Flavor. <laughs> uh, Brad, how you feeling? Good, good. Gene is in the house. Oh, Gene, who's going to make a big cameo in tomorrow's Costco video and part two Costco video Sunday. He's a Flav City fan. Uh, he's lost a ton of weight on keto. Um, I'm firing up, I don't know if you can see the uh, Traeger grill, about to throw a whole chicken on there from uh, Thrive Market and Cook's Venture. Um, so welcome to Fridays with Flav. I am Bobby. That is Rose Honey. Yes. That is Bradley P. That is Desi P. Bob is somewhere. Um, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Desi, say hi to everyone. Hi guys. Rose okay. loves to crush just cups of bone broth and for a kid. I mean, she started drinking this at like nine months, right? Uh, no, six months. Six months. Collagen, gelatin, something called chondroitin, which is great for the immune system. That's why Rose's cheeks are so gelatin rich and squishy and smooth. That's what makes the, the soup so good too. So what I'm gonna do, slowly preheat my La Crusade, but I wanna throw the chicken on ASAP uh, because the soup is nice, but it's not super filling in the first cookbook. By the way, I couldn't find that. She's charting it cold. I tried to look for keto meal prep to put it out for people, but I couldn't find it. Do you know where, where a copy is? Oh, bring a copy out if you don't mind. I'll show you in the cookbook I serve it with lettuce wraps for a keto diabetic meal. Tonight I'm going to serve it with chicken. So I just have to season my chicken here with a nice stickle of salt and pepper. I have the Traeger on 450, so it grills and smokes at a high temperature because last time it was good, but it didn't quite get the sm smoky, as my Brazilian friends say, a smoky flavor. There we go. So this recipe is in this cookbook, uh, Keto Meal Prep. I'll talk about that in a minute. Daddy. Yeah, there's Daddy. That was before Rose uh -huh. and Mommy. You were in Mommy's stomach. Yeah, you were in Mommy's belly right there. Mommy was sucking in really hard in that photo, right? And then, this is better because who's that? Daddy. Daddy, but it's Rosie too, right? It's Rose Honeybird. Yeah. yeah, it's Rose Honeybird. So I got my chicken. Desi, can you pinch some salt uh, on the, real quick, just give me a good pinch of salt on there. Maggie B is back in the house. Maggie, we've missed you. Where you been, girlfriend? Rose is a wild child today, just so y'all know. She's like literally, a little more salt right there too. So I'm loving the Traeger. You guys remember last, last Sunday night, we smoked those ribs that Brad and I really enjoyed. And then just to make sure it stays lubricated, I'm going to spray it with some grass-fed ghee. Such a cool product. Where's my ghee? I have this fourth in heart grass-fed ghee spray. I know I have another bottle. Here it is. Boom. And I'll baste my chicken with this while it's cooking. So while I'm talking, um, I got a sick promo code for Kettle and Fire grass-fed bone broth. It only happens once a month if we're lucky. It's 30% off, best in class, Bobby approved, Kettle and Fire bone broth from Austin, Texas. All good things, Chris, are in Austin. 
click my link down below to take you to Kettle on Fire and use promo code, I believe it's Flav City. Yes, use promo code Flav City. It's only good for 48 hours. 30% off for collagen, gelatin rich, bone broth, great for soups and stews and recipes. Great to drink though, warm with a pinch of gray salt. So good and good for you. Stock up my friends, it doesn't happen often. Cher gives a super chat of $5 and says, making your oven baked wings. I've got my whole family sisters following you. Yes, thank you for that. The Flav City community spreads the love so much, but specifically women. Women are like 80% of my following, but women are the best, I love women. They share, they tell their sisters, their brothers, their whole family, their great aunts about it. I love that because sharing is caring, right? So I have my spatch cocked, pasture raised chicken. I'm gonna go outside really quick, toss it on the Traeger, which is going at 450, uh, with some nice smoky hickory pellets in there. BRB, Bradley, you can entertain. I can entertain. Can I entertain quite as well as Bobby. Good to see Viviana's in the chat, Milwaukee Brewer. Smells Maggie so B is back after moving. Hopefully Maggie B's uh, move went well. Wonder where she moved. If you don't want to say, completely understand. The Bulgarian yogurt from Austin is awesome too. Interesting. Stangman is in the house. Okay, Traeger. Grill is smelling amazing. I got that chicken on there. Um, please leave a comment down below. We'd love to know where in the world you're watching from. We're in sunny Pompano Beach, South Florida, located right below Boca Raton, just above Miami. Having a great old time. It is two o'clock in sunny SoCal, California. We're about to make a dish from the first cookbook called Keto Meal Prep by Flav City. Let me try to find it here. It is my soup. It's a ramen soup, which normally has MSG and a lot of carbs because the noodles are in there. This is actually done completely keto because I use my favorite noodles. Pasta Zero by Nasoya. Get them at, uh, where do you get them at? Uh, Whole Walmart. Foods, Walmart, or Publix has it here. Where is this thing here? Ramen, 83. And then instead of using MSG, which is traditional, I use miso. Look at this in the cookbook, right? This is the first cookbook. Boom, right? Umame rich ramen, ramen egg, and pork and mushroom lettuce wraps. Just like the new book, every recipe has photos and macros. Just go to uh, uh, Amazon, search Flav City. You can get this book and the really popular book of five ingredient, meal, uh, five ingredient meals. People are loving that one. Um, I think where was the chat? Oh! Jill Baker is cooking along with the chicken. Says, got my grill going. Please tell me how did he cook the chicken? What did he put on it? So, not much at all. Salt and pepper, and I sprayed it with uh, ghee. If you don't have ghee spray, rub ghee all over it. Or at least rub like avocado or olive oil. Normally, I put ghee underneath the breast meat skin and put tons of herbs on there, but I don't have time for that tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my attention to this one pot wonder. I'm going in here. Since it's such a special dish, I'm going to dip into my top shelf ghee. And you know, we'll use the Thrive Market ghee. I was going to use the fourth and heart, but that's Rose's stash. This is a Thrive Market grass fed ghee, one of my must haves. And I'll put a good two and a half to three tablespoons in there. When the ghee emulsifies with the bone broth, creates this really umptious texture and flavor. It's lovely. And then you add in the fermented funk. I got this at Whole Foods. It's um, soy free miso. By the way, just got back from the barber. My buddy uh, James over at the, uh, the barber shop in Pompano. Not a bad haircut, right? It was well overdue. So mushrooms will be the base along with other vegetables. This is one where if you can splurge for mushrooms, I would. In the book, I tell you to use a combination of shiitakes and creminis. White button mushrooms are just boring. They're not very exciting. But instead, I got a whole carton of oyster mushrooms, right? Look at this. It's an oyster cult in real life. These are delicious. A little expensive, about like 16 bucks a pound, but it was worth it. So let's start chopping bacala, chopping vegetables and get them in the pan. And I'll use my Flav City knife here. All right, I want to hear some questions. Ask Brad. 
Allison asks, I'm allergic to nuts, all nuts, um, all nuts, any nuts. Any recommendations for a nut-free substitute in your recipes? Ooh, it's tough because I really love nuts because I'm a nutty guy and I use a lot of almonds and coconuts. So, mm, it's, it's, yeah, you're allergic to coconuts. So I use a lot of almonds. Well, some people are allergic to it also though. But yeah, coconut is not a nut, correct? Um, you can use coconut flour for like dredging when I use almond flour, but for actual swapping, you can't really do it because it has, has a whole different texture. Jackie Adam Spiegel gives a There's super my chat girl. of $20 and says, Hi, Bobby Cooking. My spatchcock pasture-raised chicken tonight from Cook's Venture with cauliflower mash. The soup sounds yummy. Happy cooking. Thank you, Jackie. You're so darn generous there in Long Island. Jackie, by the way, um, go to Mom's Organic Market. Um, they should have one near you because Viviana has one near her in Brooklyn. And what's it, Mom's, Brad? Man. What's not at What's mom's? not a mom's? Coconut cult ice cream or gelato, technically. Coconut cult. Right, Viviana. Uh, coconut bliss ice cream. Yep, all flavors. Just general awesomeness is at mom's. Organic. Yeah, get the coconut cult ice cream there, Jackie, and then thank me later. It's the most amazing thing. And it's only $9, which sounds a lot, but it's $25 to $30 online. It's life-changing. Milwaukee Brewery gives a super chat of $10 and says, supplemental info for your expiration date video. When you open a can of spaghetti hose, <laughs> seven years past the date on the can, you'll find that they've turned black. Okay, that's good to know, seven years. So in the doomsday scenario, we know, oh, spaghetti, oh. And then Danessa gives a super chat of $10 um, and says, you're the best. Tried your chicken enchilada. Wow. Ooh. Recipe with siete enchilada sauce. Yes, ma'am. Cassava tortilla. Yes, ma'am. It was the bomb. Bomb.com, which is available for how much, Brad? I, we should ask them. So we, yeah. we looked into it today to reroute bomb.com to flavesafe.com. <laughs> Just as a joke. So I called the person. And what do you guys think bomb.com is is worth? What they're, what they're asking yeah. for? It's... <laughs> we want to hear your guesses. Brad, can you grab me the bench scraper from the first uh, drawer there? All right, who else is in the house here? Thank you. Exploring nature. Yes, you can have this because if, uh, if you're on a diabetic diet, this is a low-carb, uh, low-blood-sugar recipe. Uh, best way to cook lobster tails, you know what I do? I actually split them in half raw and then cook them in a buttered pan for about... Three minutes on one side, one minute on the other side, and then rip the meat out and eat it. It's delicious. Wow. Someone actually guessed it. Really? TC. Dang. T Brown is way, way low there. Yeah. $12 million is what they're asking yeah, 12 for. Yeah, million.com. So I don't know if we're going to be able to reroute Flame City. Dollar. <laughs> no, unless the super chats go up big time right here. I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen, y'all. <laughs> Bomb.com. Bomb. Bomb. Oh. I think you'll get a discount. If you go for that one, for sure. Oh, I have to put a, a timer on for the uh, chicken. Check that in 30 minutes. So yeah, it's a lovely recipe. It's low carb, it's gluten free. It's diabetic friendly because it's incredibly low sugar, low carb, it won't spike your blood sugars, but it tastes like real deal authentico ramen soup, which I can't eat. So fun fact about ramen is that it's traditional to actually put MSG powder in there. Instead of doing that, I'm using foods that have natural MSG, like the mushrooms. I'm gonna break out a Parmesan rind to show you too. And a lot of people like to say that MSG is 100% safe. There's a really big difference between MSG from natural sources like mushrooms, Parmesan, tomatoes, soy sauce, and from man-made chemical powders. Those are horrible. Those are solely designed to light up your taste buds and make your brain fire off like crazy to make it crave, crave worthy. Well, that also makes you sick. And if I have that, and Dusty and I have that, we'll be up all night sweating and have red spots on our face. So I can't have ramen ever again unless I make it. When you have natural umame, that obviously won't happen. So don't let anyone ever tell you, oh, don't be afraid of umame, it's 100% safe. Natural, yes. Absolutely. 
So Lilia asks, hey Bobby, what diet to follow for high cholesterol? Hair looks fresh. Ooh, freshy fresh. Thank you for that fresh hair. Actually, no product in there. He just cut it. This is my bed head, I guess. Um, very easy. For a high cholesterol diet, what I want you to do is search Flav City Cholesterol on YouTube. I have two videos. And then Flav City Anti-Inflammatory Foods. I talk about this more and more lately. And there's a great, I highly recommend, this amazing documentary on Amazon Prime called Fat Fiction. Fat Fiction by Mark Hyman. He's a very well-respected doctor. The main driver of high cholesterol is not fatty saturated fat foods, bacon, egg yolks. It's inflammatory foods like refined processed oils. That's in everything. Canola, soybean, processed sugar. That's in everything. Carbohydrates. That's in everything. Corn and soy. So if you eliminate those inflammatory items from your diet, your cholesterol will go completely down. And the funny thing is, blaming cholesterol for high cholesterol is idiotic. It's actually backward because the main job of cholesterol in your body is to put out inflammation in your body. So if you're eating an inflammatory diet, of course you're going to have high inflammation because the firefighters are rushing to the scene to put it out. That'd be like starting a fire, I heard this analogy, and then blaming the firefighters for the reason the fire started in the first place. It's no, because you're eating the inflammatory foods. That's why you have high cholesterol. Okay, that is 100% true. Stop vilifying saturated fat like coconut oil and eggs and bacon and stop eating refined foods and sugary food and simple carbohydrates and stuff like that. It's very simple. And the food pyramid. Don't even get me started on the food pyramid. The food pyramid in the US is literally backwards. It's one of the biggest hoaxes and failed experiments ever given to the American people. And that's the reason why one out of three people have diabetes by the year 2050. It's horrific. 53% of your calories a day should come from carbohydrates, according to the government. Well, that's a recipe for diabetes. And guess what's happened? One out of three people have it. So there you go. So Ashley asks, or Ash asks, Thrive Market has one degree organic food brand uh, sprouted organic brown rice cereal. Is it okay for kids? Um, so I have to double check that one. I think still has a little too much sugar and maybe a processed oil. For kids, Thrive Market also has Thrive Market Coconut Crunch Cereal. It's sold out now because I've been talking about it so much, but it's coconut meat and coconut water and it tastes like crispy coconut meat. That is good. And I don't recommend Magic Spoon and stuff like that. Another one that's good, but it's not keto, it's paleo, is, um, what's that one I was talking about earlier? Bliss? Something Bliss? Uh, for what? Uh, cereal? That, is that Love Bliss or something? Oh, man. Jeez, I completely forgot. Yeah, there's a new one, Love Bird or something, but um, one at Whole Foods now is from uh, Sunday, Sunday something? What's that? Seven Sundays? Seven Sundays. Their paleo cereal is great. But I prefer low-carb cereal because you don't want to spike your blood sugars, even if it has... Uh, paleo starches like tapioca or cassava, you're still better off with no starches for breakfast. And then do mushrooms, a couple people ask, do mushrooms need to be organic? No, they don't. Great question. So mushrooms, peppers, zucchini in there. We got to get onion in there too. We're going to cook down the base of this soup to make it really, really naturally sweet. And then we'll add the fermented... Uh, We'll add the fermented chickpea miso and the bone broth. And that's where the flavors really happen. And then all you have to do is cook it for like 30 minutes and a magical, magical flavor develops. This knife is so great. You're going to love the Flav City cookware set coming later this year. Um, we're partnering, I think. It looks like it's going to be with a great company called Tramantina. And they are so great. I'm going to fly down to their headquarters in Texas sometime and finalize all the designs and everything. It's going to be the most unique, useful cookware set on the market. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to be the next, uh, 
still can't remember that movie. The next lady from that Bradley Cooper movie, Jennifer Lawrence, where it's a real life story. So I'm, I can't remember anything. I'm like um, that skit on Jimmy Kimmel where they bring in um, Yaya and he's talking about the movie, right, babe? He's like, yeah, the movie, you know, with uh, the guy and the guy, he, he shoot the guy. And he's like, why you shoot the guy? It's a good movie. That's what I am. I'm, I'm Yaya now. Oh, Rose is taking over comments, Brad. You're done. <laughs> oh, I try. I try. Like that was good, right? That was a good imitation. <laughs> Maggie B just moved to uh, Fort Lauderdale, so maybe she can help out with some scams. Oh, videos. nice, Mags. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, you got to shoot Desi an email. Support at FlavCity.com. Support at FlavCity.com for Maggie B. Unrefined salt goes in. A little bit of peppy. That grill is smoking really nice. So I get oh, so I guess so many people bought um, the pork ribs with our promo from Bel Campo last Sunday. They sold out within an hour of our story. And tell people what got here, Brad. Before oh, there's Rosie. What before uh, we went live? Joe Baker gives a super chat of five dollars without comment, but thank you very much. Thank for you, Joe. And then Kelly. He says, "Bought your second immune boosting. T bought my second immune boosting tea. Will you eventually use PayPal?" Um, we were using PayPal, but then I forgot what was going on. You have to ask Erica. They were doing something really sketchy, so we stopped using them. What do you want? I want some S. Brad, tell the big box what arrived earlier. Oh, the uh, the um, the Bell Campo. Yeah. <laughs> what was in there? So I ordered Bell Campos. Like, can we restock your freezer? Complimentary. And I'm like. Yes, so I ordered, I forgot what I ordered. Rose. Um, geez, 40 ounce tomahawk steaks, a bunch of other steaks, sausages, chickens, the whole fillets, the whole, ribs, so everything. Amazing stuff. Uh, fantastic. Bel Campo is the bee's knees. Between Bel Campo, grass fed, kettle on fire, grass fed, you're good to go. Ah, uh, so Jill asks, because she didn't do it in the super chat, but I didn't get spatchcock chi uh, spatch chicken, got air chilled organic whole. Is that okay? That's the best you can do at the grocery store, and it is just okay. But um, whole or any kind of pasture-raised chicken is way better than organic from the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. All right, Rose is making sure I'm following the recipe there. Actually, no, she's looking at the design. Ooh, this is the design of our master bathroom, Rose. Ooh, yeah, that's what Daddy's going to go potty right there. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> Desi's doing some super cool design work. Uh, we'll have to share that pretty soon. Uh, in the pot, wild mushrooms, red peppers, onions, zucchini, and um, that's about it for now. I'm going to caramelize those, then add the fermented chickpea miso. This is from uh, Whole Foods. There's no soy in there. And then I'll add the uh, bone broth, but the bone broth with the ghee adds such a luscious flavor. What does Rose want to see? The pictures of her? Oh, yeah, she's pointing. Where's the pictures of me, Mommy? Ah, oh, there they are. Rose, honey, eating a quesadilla. Quesadilla, Rose. Did everyone see the quesadilla video that Rose and I post, I think, yesterday? It was one of the best quesadillas I've ever seen in my life. That's a carrot. Can you, can you say carrot? No. Carrot, yes. Daddy. Yeah. There's Daddy. That was Daddy ordering at uh, Panera Bread Company. Ah, which Brad and I did this week. It's coming out next week. Right, Brad, Brad? Yep. Yes, Rose, honey. Okay, vegetables are caramelizing here. We have to take the time to really get that flavor down. And I think I'll add just a little bit of cauliflower. There are no rules. I want to veggie load it. And that's something you'll notice I do in all my books. Five ingredient, keto meal prep. I try to load as many vegetables in there without making it seem like they're veggie loaded. Because I hear from so many parents like, wow, not only is your food tasting good, but my kids loved it and they didn't even know there were X amount of vegetables in there, like with cauliflower mac and cheese or when I do lettuce wraps, I put a ton of mushrooms in there to offset the pork because mushrooms have a lot of meaty umame flavor, right? So that's one thing I love to do. Um, my friend Brittany from Instant Loss, she has a great cookbook. She did a story and a recipe from Five Ingredient last night. And the ranking on Amazon jumped from 355 to just about 100 now, which is super cool. 
If you want to check out the books, this is strictly for keto diabetic people. This is for people who want simple, healthy, five ingredient meals with all my shopping tips in there. Just go on Amazon, search Flav City. And I do ask you if you have bought the book, please, please, please leave a review on Amazon. Those are very important for the old search ranking. Rachel Murray gives a super chat of $25 and says, Happy Friday, family. Running a little late. Got stuck at work and now sitting at Home Depot picking up our new gazebo. Dang, Rachel Murray's like getting a gazebo. Got the Traeger for her husband. Good for you. Got the Air Doctor. Yeah, Air Doctor too. And Peace, uh, Peace Love gives a super chat of $5 and says, I learned a lot from you. Even my teenage son started learning from you. Please give uh, Rose a big kiss. Peace Love. I appreciate that. I'll give Rose a kiss all day, every day. What's up, Desi? Why is pasture-raised chicken better than organic? So why is pasture-raised chicken better than organic? So I'll go a couple reasons why. Number one, any organic chicken you buy at the grocery store. Why is it called organic? It's or called organic because the feed is organic that's corn it. and soy that's and it. grain. That's it. It's still a factory farm chicken. It lives inside. Lives inside in a warehouse with 30 to 50,000 chickens. It no never sun. sees the su sunlight, even if it's free range or cage free, nothing. The only difference is the, the other chickens have a horrible life and they eat GMO. The organic ones have a horrible life and they eat organic, okay? The other thing people don't know about Rose is that um, the grocery store chickens or the factory farm chickens are one of two breeds that was developed maybe 30 years ago to get fat really quick because what happens when they get fat quicker, they get slaughtered quicker, they end up on the grocery store shelf. Money, like Mr. Wonderful says. Pasture raised chicken is usually a heritage breed, meaning it's the same chicken that your grandma's grandma was eating. They're never inside. They're always outside, free to forage, walking around, getting sunlight. The nutritional profile is way better and it tastes better. So it's a win-win. Uh, Thrive Market has the pasture-raised box. You can use my promo code uh, when I go live on Sunday for that. Oh, excuse me. Or just search Flav's or just uh, go to uh, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby um, or Cook's Venture. But we had that great deal for Cook's Venture on Instagram three weeks ago. They've been sold out for three weeks now. I emailed them. I'm like, do you guys get hit hard by the Flay City effect? They're like, yeah, that's real, man. That's real. Jackie at Miss Spiegel asks, how is Johnny P and will he be visiting the family? Uh, Johnny P is good. Thank you for asking. What do you need, Rosa? Um, yeah, uh, he'll be visiting probably as we get closer to moving in the new house. But thank you for asking, Jax. Got tons of veg vegetables in here. Oh, we got a little potty there. I got, almost forgot I got to peel some ginger too. You'll come back, Rose. You'll come back. It's okay. It's okay. You need a potty break. You need a potty break. Take the spoon and just peel the skin off the gingy. And then I'll grate some ginger. I like to grate it as opposed to chop it because if you bite into a piece of ginger, it ain't very pleasant. Oh, Brad, guess what was on sale at a Whole Foods? Mm -hmm. The pasture-aged sausage patties. Really? Three forty-nine oh a pound at Whole Foods in the South. If you live in Florida and Georgia and one other state, I forgot. The Thompson Ranch pasture-raised breakfast sausage patties that is truly pasture-raised, non-GMO, rotationally farmed pork is on sale for $3.49 a pound if you're an Amazon Prime member. It's like, what? And they also have pasture-raised pork shoulder, pork ribs, and pork chops. It is one of the most undiscovered gems that many people don't know about. Let's put the comments back on so we can see the comments, Rose. Look, come here. Can I show you? Kiki says, you changed my life. I lost 30 <coughs> pounds, mostly keto. More importantly, I watch everything I eat now. I've never felt better. Love it. Love it. We had some really great Flav City fans meet us at Costco yesterday. Uh, had great weight loss journeys, journeys. Some follow keto. Some are just eating Bobby approved. We have an amazing two-part Costco video dropping tomorrow and Sunday. Because the April sales that came out on Wednesday are too legit. Too legit to quit. Hi, hi. They're epic. So we made it into a two-parter. We had about eight Flav City fans shopping with us during the video. 
and it was super duper fun. Some battery's gonna die here pretty soon. Trans, probably my transmitter. Teresa says, hubby just got out of the hospital with a bad stomach virus. They pumped him full of antibiotics. Ooh, I ooh. wanted to get him some seed, but they are sold out. Yeah, so seed is sold out right now, but it's a three to five week waiting list. Eat fermented foods. Uh, get the um, fermented cabbage from uh, Costco. Get kefir without added sugar. Um, and by the way, Brad, paste the link in the um, description box. The promos page, people are loving on flavecity.com. I put all my active promos for Kettle and Fire, Thrive Market, the Seed Probiotic. Even though it's a three to five waiting, a three to five week waiting list, it might be sooner and it ships first come, first serve. This is the best probiotic that's actually a prebiotic too on the market. It's a game changer. And I can't tell you how many people also have ordered this and are loving it. This is the Air Doctor. Brad got me into this um, before he moved. This is the best home air purifier on the market. It literally cleans allergens, pollutants, dust and smell out of the air. You just plug it in all the time. My girl Rachel Murray just got one. And when it's dirty or pollution in the air, it kicks on high. Otherwise it's on low all the time. Get it, it's not cheap. It's like 330 bucks with my promo. But try this out. Go to the link that Brad just uh, put there or it's flavecity.com slash promo. Is that right, babe? Yes. Promo or promos? Promos with an Pro S. Flavecity.com slash promos. We put the best stuff up there because people kept asking me what my f promos are. And Evelyn asks, I really want to get the Vitamix. Is it worth the investment? It's $100 off at Costco right now. Yes, it is. It's a great blender. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jose says, bought the Air Doctor three weeks ago. Love it. Yeah. Happy to hear that, Jose. It's and I think you can return it if you don't like it, right? Yeah. It's like a 30 day risk free. If you have a lot of dust and allergens in your house, it is a must. We have one here and one in our bedroom. It runs 24-7. All right, guys, we have 838 people watching. Leave a comment down below if you haven't done so yet. We got 30% off of Kettle and Fire using my link down below in code Bob, uh, Flav City. I'll tell you why that's a must in a minute. Um, we're making ramen with low-carb, diabetic-approved noodles. Oh, nice. Nessie's fixing up a little snack right there. And uh, we're having a grand old time down here in South Florida. Jackie Adams Spiegel gives a super chat of $25 and says, I got my air doctor. It's fantastic. I told you, Jax. Thank you, Bobby, for suggesting this. You're welcome. I only bring you guys the best stuff. Right? Thrive Market's the main sponsor of the channel. Kettle and Fire, which is grass-fed bone broth from Austin, Texas. They slow simmer it for 24 hours-ish. Um, I only bring you guys the best stuff. The day I start hawking and talking about Doritos and Diet Cola, Brad's gonna slap me silly, okay? How about that? Oh, I try, <laughs> I try. Got my bone broth ready here. Joe Ellen says, kettle and, uh, the kettle broth is buy one, get one at Publix this week. Really? Which is awesome, but not everyone has a Publix. Yeah, not everyone has a Publix. Which is Publix, why which Bobby is why. has the 30% off. Yeah, they only give me 30% off once every month or two. And everyone knows that um, bone broth has gelatin and collagen, which actually makes the dish really rich and luscious, but it's good for your skin and your joints. But there's something called chondroitin uh, in bone broth that's really good for your immune system and gut healing. Um, when it's cold weather, which we don't have in South Florida, I start the day with a cup of this warmed up with salt, really good unrefined salt every day. So cooking with it gets you that gut benefit. It's not cheap and you can make it your own cheaper if you want. We've just been really lazy lately, but 30% off is a gangbusters deal with free shipping. So I use my Kettle and Fire link down below. When I say down below, I mean right here in the description box. Sometimes on mobile, we got to click that arrow right there. Boom, click that link and use code FLAVECITY at checkout. You only have 48 hours, then my code expires and we have to wait another 30 or 90 days. And the picture is so clear today. Char Shroy gives a super chat of $15. Thank you for that. Oh, there's Char. Char was oh, having some issues wow, but, uh, with the uh, Flav City uh, thank you. community, but thank you, Char, for being so great. Ooh. Bob, well, I just made a brand new uh, glutenitsa. Baba Dani made a tomato and red pepper lutenitsa sauce. Keto bread. Dang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Dang. Wow. <laughs> That's righteous. 
Ah, uh, Cynthia, can I come over and screw that shelf in already? <laughs> I do need help. I have no time for anything, so Cynthia, it's crazy. Jackie asks, is that matcha a good drink from your Instagram? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Super chat, Lala girls in the house. Lala! Thank you for the gluten-free banana bread recipe. My coworkers can't get enough. Wow. Mm. wow. So good. What's going on, Jackie? So good. Yeah, Sharon got the um, the toothbrush I use oh, with the UV light. Yeah, I'll awesome. have a uh, promo cut again next week for that. An amazing toothbrush that kills all germs and bacteria when you're not using it. <clears throat> what makes uh, for keto bread? Well, it's made with almond flour. That's the base culture one we buy at um, Whole Foods. It's not cheap, but it's the most amazing keto paleo bread you're ever going to find. So, ghee... A ton of vegetables, umami-rich mushrooms in here, Rose. Can you say mushroom? Mm. Yes, mushrooms. Mm. Then we take this. This is fermented miso paste. A staple in Japanese cooking. Instead of being with soybeans, this is with chickpea. And oh. I pr yeah. Really? Really nice stuff, right? So we put that in. I'll probably need a little more. You cannot make this soup without this. It's a must. Back to back Smells. to back super chats. Just what, 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 Rose? So, Take it Yassi, away, or Yassi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry about that. Gives $10. Doesn't comment. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Yas. Rachel Murray, uh, $5. I have a friend who suffers from inflammation and gout. What diet should he follow? An anti-inflammatory uh, low FODMAP, FODMAP diet. Absolutely. And then Paper City Gamer Jeff says. Oh, there he is. Been so happy with the food changes I've made this year. I'm glad you, uh, your recommendations also taste really good. <laughs> that's what it's all. I recognize that name. Haven't seen you in a while. Well, that's the thing. A lot of people think dieting means you have to sacrifice quality and flavor. It doesn't. I would never cook that way. We're just putting best in class ingredients in our body. And when you do have to diet because you have to lose weight. Oh my God, there's a beautiful bird that just flew in the tree right there. Look, babe. It's like orange and black. Look right there, it's gorgeous. Oh my God. Wow, wow. Rose, look at that bird. Wow. Look at the bird over there, Rosie. It's beautiful. It. When you do need to lose weight and really get say, your, um, your A1C down and your blood sugars down, then you have to go on a keto diet. The keto diet really is the diabetes killer because you're getting rid of inflammatory food and carbs from your diet. When you're constantly eating a carby diet, you're never actually burning fat. You're only burning carbs and you're constantly producing blood sugar and glucose. When you knock that out, you feel so much better. And you start losing a ton of weight. Rishi gives a $5 super chat and asks, Hey, Bobby, just wondering about your opinion on allulose. Thomas DeLauer seems confident in it. Uh, wondering what your thoughts are. About yeah, I've actually it. never used it, but I'm way more confident in that these days than any kind of sugar, sugar alcohol like erythritol. I just have become very intolerant to um, sugar alcohols. It really bloats my stomach. And I think a lot of people are becoming that way. So yeah, I think allulose, me and Thomas agree on that. And uh, you can get the powdered form, you can get the liquid form, absolutely. Okay, let me do Instagram stories here. I gotta tell people about the uh, discount on uh, Kettle and Fire bone broth too. Maggie B says that's a Florida bird. Yeah, it's gorgeous bird. Isn't that cool, Ben? Yeah. All right, this is the base, you guys. All the vegetables, the chickpea miso, absolute flavor bomb there. Now I take the kettle and fire bone broth and I put it in. And I was just talking about that it's not only yummy because it's loaded with collagen and gelatin, which adds a great texture, but it has something that's incredibly gut friendly called chondroitin. Chondroitin is so good for your gut and your immune system. And Kettle and Fire does it right. If you're not going to make it yourself, slow simmered, grass fed beef bones and simmered for 24 hours out of Austin, Texas. Everything cools in Austin, 30% off. They do this once every 30 or 60 days. Try this out. Swipe up, use promo code Flave City. You will love this stuff. You actually can have a cup of this and drink it in the morning. Incredibly gut friendly, incredibly good for cooking. Get some. It ain't going to last because it expires my deal on Sunday night. A couple of people have asked about the miso. Just show it again. Yeah, absolutely. Want to go hold it in front of the camera real quick, bro? Uh, yeah, where did it go? Uh, right there. Yeah, so I've only seen that brand at Whole Foods, and it's chickpea miso. 
So show the front and then show the, uh, the ingredients. It's fermented. You need that fermented funk. So when you're combining miso master. fermented, so, uh, fermented uh, miso with umami rich mushrooms and ghee, which is like super fatty and delicious, you're made in the shade, y'all. Got to save these down and post them later. Okay, perfect. Share bear, $4, $5 holler. When you intermittent fast, does it matter when you stop eating? Really need this answer. Does it matter when you stop eating? Um, yeah, I think it's better to fast from like dinner to dinner. I don't think you want to like do um, a weird time frame like that. So I'd say like dinner and then maybe if you needed to, like um, a light snack in the afternoon and then dinner again and skip breakfast. That's what I would do. So I would start it with dinner to dinner or dinner to late afternoon snack. So that's why the bone broth is so essential, but not just for this recipe. When you make any soup, stew, chili, sauce, when you make a sauce and you fortify it with bone broth, it has this richness that's amazing. So like I said on my story right there, it's 30% off with free shipping for 48 hours till Sunday. Everyone who's tried this loves it. Kettle and Fire is the bomb. Use my link in the description box. Uh, Flav City over on their website. You're gonna love it. Yeah, Rose. And then we're gonna top it off with these. I'm gonna show you guys what these are. Thrive Market has a version of these which are very good too. These are keto noodles from Nasoya. It's called Pasta Zero. And what makes them so awesome is they're made with konjac flour. Konjac flour is low carb, but it also is fiber rich. So it's a prebiotic. Prebiotics are foods that are fiber heavy that feed your gut bacteria. There's only two grams of net carbs per serving and there's two servings per pack. This is amazing stuff. I have many old recipes in the first cookbook for uh, pastas and stuff like that. Where'd the cookbook go? Rose took it. Did she took it? Like, yeah. So funny. <laughs> uh, for pastas and stir fries and oh, stuff like you. that. Oh my God, yes. Thank so you. get it at Whole Foods, get it at Publix, <laughs> get it at Walmart. It's amazing stuff. You just have to know how to cook it. For this recipe, it's, di it's different. But if you're making a stir fry or a pasta, I tell you in the book and in um, the website blog, how to cook it in a dry non-stick uh, ceramic pan first. Oh my God, it's so good. That is rice just there. Yeah, it's kind of breath salt to this one. I don't mind it actually. It's really good. I'm gonna top this off with just a little bit of water. Honey in there too. I just ordered 24 uh, cartons of uh, bone broth with my code this morning. So they're literally out. That was my last bone broth. Honey, it's a lovely flavor. It's very aggressively seasoned for Donnie, which she normally doesn't do. Her food is normally pretty no, she's, safe. She's pretty good with salting. Sometimes she over salt. Okay. All right, that, yeah, it is kind of salty, actually. I can feel it now. And I love salt, so. Let me go check the chicken. Are you serious? Dang, sister. I was 30 minutes on the chicken. Let me just go check it. I'm going to put a um, probe thermometer in there, too, to make sure I don't overcook it. Jackie, I'm to ask, where can we get the pasta zero? Um, Walmart, mm -hmm. Whole Foods, yep. Publix, or online? Correct. Oh, uh, yeah, Thrive Market has their own brand, too, called Miracle Noodles. Let's see. Woo! Oh, that that chicken looks good. Love them. That's awesome. T Rich yells. Um, T Rich said she bought everything on the almost everything on the promos page. So she is not playing games. Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. Joanne, you can buy the miso at Whole Foods. That's right. You can. According to what Bobby said, you can. Good. Oh, 
lots of veggies in here. I'm going to baste that chicken. Mama wanted crispy skin, right? It's looking really, really so crispy. Like if, you, if you order miso soup at a, like a sushi restaurant, yeah. it's just miso and water, right? Pretty, Pretty much. much, yeah. With like a little bit of kelp or kombu in there. It's very, very basic. Jackie Adam Spiegel says, Desi, you look very pretty today. Cherry says, I made your Man, this chicken brownies amazing. It's going to be so smoky from the grill. It's going to be that's sick. A, that's a crowd favorite. Everybody loves it. What's that? Brownies. Wow. Um, Tirith says, Coconut uh, Flake Cereals back at Thrive. No, oh, I right just now. checked. Wow. Go to um, in here, Firefox. No, nah, it's on Firefox. If it's back in there, wow. I literally just checked. The miso is not, look, you have to Well, it's not hot enough yet. It has to come to a boil. Oh. I just checked yesterday. Oh, it's back. Wow. Oh, it's going to be sold out now, watch. <laughs> Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby gets you 25% off your first order, your free gift. The Keto Coconut Flake Cereal is back. It is the most clean MCT rich cereal on the market. And what I do is I have that at night if I want a dessert. And then I'll put like, uh, if I want a little bit of uh, chocolate chips in there too. This stuff is crazy good, like crazy good. So good. I need another S and I'll be back. <laughs> oh, we should get that coconut up open, babe, right? Want, want the coconut? Wow, Milwaukee Brewer in my area, Pasta Zero's at Myers, Target, and Pick and Spin. Wow. I definitely wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Lucy Albano says, I made Dusty's banana bread this week and ate the whole loaf myself. That's the way to oh do it. God. I'd probably do the same. <laughs> Gene needs smell of vision. <laughs> we still have the coconut from last week's live stream. Let's uh, tap that sucker. Rachel Murray gives a super chat of $10. Says, Bobby, I made the five ingredient Ooh. chicken enchilada, Mexican cauliflower rice. Boom. And Bob Donnie's cabbage salad on Tuesday. How we went bonkers over here. Yeah, right. Rachel, your hobby is a lucky duck. You treat that guy right. I'd love to hear that. Let's huh. open the membrane there. He left the membrane still. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you poked it. <laughs> I poked it. Where should I pour it? Uh, into individual glasses, maybe? I hope it's still right. good. Oh, it is. Gene <laughs> says, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I pour it over here. Let's show the camera. I don't want to I can get the pitcher if you want. We can yeah, pour it in there. Give me something wider. What's something? the pitcher? Like, uh, or like a bowl or something. I'll get the pitcher. Maybe Desi can help out with this question. Is Bobby going to get back into his quinoa breakfast bowls or is he still sick of it? Uh, not for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I don't know how Bobby can eat the same omelet and toast every single morning. For now, over six months, maybe more. Oh, my breakfast? Uh, honestly, I, I, can, uh, I can do that for maybe a couple of days and then I just Richard says, sorry, not sorry. I already ordered three boxes. Of no, oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be sold out, I guarantee, by the end of the night. If anyone's wondering where they are, Richard Diaz has them. So you'll have to, uh, private, you'll have to private message him. No, I never get tired of that breakfast. How could you? Perfectly toasted keto bread with fatty almond cream every cheese. Every single day? Monday through Friday, and then I mix it up on the weekends. Everybody is working for the week. Hey, you're wearing grandma's shoe? How you mix it up? You add some bacon to it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll make Sometimes up. sausage. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I'll make a... Uh... Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Look at that. Boom. No, sometimes I'll make uh... pancakes instead. Sometimes I'll make frittatas. We got to take advantage of Baba Donnie. She just wants to make it, right? Are you... Um... Oh, geez, where did the question go? Oh, that's good. Okay. This pot's boiling here. I'm going to reduce it. Um, where's my phone? I have it in my pocket. I'm using it for stories. You can use it here. Oh. Uh, something's blinking. 
Oh, not yet. T I'm TX, right? Transmitter? Where is Chef Rose? Yeah, to the TX. Yeah, the so that's me, right? Oh, yeah, it's okay. If it, let me know when my audio dies, you guys. Okay. We'll just simmer this now for 25, 30 minutes. I'll add the um, noodles pretty soon. But I can prep the noodles now, actually. So what I do, y'all, pour a glass of that uh, coconut water if you want a bit. It's quite refreshing. Viviana says, I've been having toast and eggs for breakfast for over a year. Yeah, there you go, Viviana. Thank you, girl. Wow, that is girl. That for breakfast and ice cream at night, and Viviana sat. And I, I hey. have at night, right? <laughs> wow. This chicken is just about Why done. Are you coming over because you're going to fit right into our, like, yeah, Viviana. menu uh, situation here. And then, question for Bobby is rice bran oil um, bad, like, uh, Someone said, like, plan in sunflower. Yeah, it's Megan. just like safflower, sunflower. It's highly processed, so it's not ideal. It's the new flavor of the month at Trader Joe's. They're using a lot of rice bran oil. This chicken's just about done. It smells so good out there. Can I just show you this, babe, real quick? Come here. <laughs> because you're getting that smoke from the Traeger hickory pellets. Come here for a second, Diesel. Nice. Duck, dude. Drink some high. It's about to hit target temperature, too. Ready? You guys can virtually see, but check this out. Ready? Oh, that's better, right? Yeah. That's better. Very nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's done. Hey, Maggie, field trip. There's been a lot of field trips, Maggie. You've missed them during your move. Uh, during your move. Oh yeah. Right, much better. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me double check the uh, temperature of the, uh, the thigh meat here. But I can guarantee we're pretty much there. Yep. Palm yep. would be in the same. Yeah. Megan. Yeah. Palm oil. Okay. I'll bring this inside in a second. I just power down the trigger here. Wow, check out this bird. This is insanity. Virtual insanity is what we're living in. Look at that. Wow, Bradley. that looks perfect. Holy cow. Last time I roasted at 350 or grilled at 350 was too low. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Come on now. That's lovely. So I'm going to rest that bird. I'm going to give it another spritz of ghee and this can literally sit for 20 minutes uh, with no problem at all. A little bit of liquid love never hurt anyone. Catherine says, I'm taking a virtual bite out of that chicken. Yeah, well, wait for it to cool down. I don't want you to burn your virtual mouth. Michelle's in the house is yummy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the beauty of doing it on so the Traeger not only allows you to control the exact temperature, but it has a fan, like a convection oven. So you're actually baking while you're grilling if you want. So you can do desserts in there. You can bake bread in there. And because it's burning wood pellets, you're getting that smoke flavor. So even though I'm grilling chicken, I'm getting wood flavor in there. I and mean, it's pretty epic. That's right, what does uh, Kramer say from Seinfeld? It's the wood that makes it good. Gino says there's going to be a lot of flavor in that bird. You know it, Gino. Big time. When we were talking about Gene, we said, we said he should have, we should have asked him something. Remember, we were talking about... Oh, man. Something about keto or some products or something. Or was it the cookie dough? Oh, yeah. The oh, yes. yes. Gene, have you tried this? They don't have it on Thrive Market, only Whole Foods. Tr everyone should be eating this. Sure. This is insane. It's the most amazing Bobby approved keto diabetic no added sugar cookie dough. Oh my God. It's for you, Gino. Yeah, the peanut butter one's even better. 
than the regular one if you love peanut butter, but holy spicolis. Peanut butter chocolate chip. Pretty good stuff. It's Pretty so good. good. A scoop so, a day keeps the doctor away. Chris gives a super chat of $5. Which of your cookbooks would you recommend for diabetics that are beginners in this world? Uh, I think Rose took it, I'll show you. Um, not this one, the other one, keto meal prep. Let me show you. I'll show you. It's a diabetic special book. I think Rose hid it somewhere. The book's called Keto Meal Prep, and it's really designed for diabetics too. So this is our first book, best-selling book, Keto Meal Prep. So it has over 125 low-carb diabetic keto recipes. And the cool thing about it is, I think I'm really good at building flavor. I have recipes that have monster flavor, but have very low carbs, won't spike your blood sugar, keto diabetic friendly. Every recipe in this book has a photo. Every recipe has macros too. It tells you the dietary information. You're gonna love this book. I didn't put any links in today, I forgot. But Keto Meal Prep, search Amazon, Flav City, this will come up. Or the second book, if you want really simple, clean cooking, that's 100% paleo, Five Ingredient Meals is probably twice as popular as this because it's a 55 or so, five ingredient, super easy, delicious meals. But the kicker is, I tell you all my shopping knowledge in this book. So I tell you exactly what products to buy at the grocery store, exactly the ingredients you wanna buy and avoid and how to stock your pantry for these recipes. And that's why people are loving it. And that's why the Bobby Approved app will be coming out hopefully at the end of the month. So instead of you saying, I wonder if this is Bobby Approved, you could actually scan any barcode at the grocery store and it will tell you if it's Bobby Approved or not and why and give you a master ingredient list and it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna be free, right? Boom. I need to get a little Swiffer pan. It's very nasty on the floor there. Brian says, can you ask Bobby's thoughts on juice cleanses? Costco has three, um, three day by Suja, thanks. They have a Suja juice cleanse? That's interesting. Yeah. Actually, I'm a fan of doing stuff like that every once in a while. I think it does really cleanse and reset your body. So I'm down with that. Just make sure when you come off the cleanse, you take it easy and don't eat like deep dish pizza. The first night, eat very light. I would say eat very uh, low carb, moderate fat too. And that's one interesting thing about this book uh, here is that I don't believe in a high fat keto diet. I don't believe in keto bomb, fat bombs. I believe in moderate fat, low carb diet, which is also a anti-inflammatory diet. Island uh, Princess Girl gives a $5 super chat and says, yay, my favorite cook, Bobby. Thank you, Island Princess Girl. So sweet of you. And Jack Cook M. and cleaner too, just so you know. <laughs> Jack M. Spiegel gives a $25 super chat Jackie. and says, happy cooking family. Gotta go. My special cooking is calling my name. We love Flav City fam. See you all soon. Hi, right, Jackie. And I expect you to go to Mom's Organic Market and get some of that... Uh, Coconut cult ice cream and yogurt, if they have it, you're gonna love it. If they have the yogurt, it's a must. April asks, any way to search items by name on the app? I use grocery pickup. Uh, should be a way to search by, by name yeah, when we'll it's it. complete. Yeah, we'll sure. have all that stuff. It's honestly gonna be the only of its kind app on the market. So there are apps where it tells you nutritionals, Weight Watchers points. I don't believe in points. I don't believe in saying, giving this a grade on its fat level and calories, I'm telling you, does this product have Bobby approved best in class ingredients? I will highlight the bad ingredients in the products and tell you other alternatives it's the, if it's a bad product. It's gonna be a game changer, game changer. You just asked what um, a lady just, uh, or you just answered what a lady just asked. So there you go. I'm sure I'll be talking about it a lot more. So I have to open my noodles now. So these are packed in water. And I'm gonna drain the water. And then I'm probably gonna cut these in half because they're very, very long and they tend to tangle. But these and probably a great substitute would be um, hearts of palm pasta from either Natural Heaven, which I love, 
or the Trader Joe's ones are the best pasta substitutes because even if you eat complex carbohydrate pasta like red lentil, like we do once in a while, or brown rice, it still has a ton of carbs. And if you're keto or diabetic, not a good idea. I don't love how the American Health Association and the people who bring you the food pyramid tell you, even on a diabetic diet, a portion of your plate, like 25% can be complex grains. No, it can't. That's how you spike your blood sugars. Are they crazy? So instead of doing that, you can do it with hearts of palm pasta. They're also coming out with, I think it, it died here. Yeah, it died. I'll be right back. They're also coming out, if you can hear me, I'll talk about breads. <laughs> the company who makes Natural Heaven is coming out with hearts of palm brown rice, which I haven't tried yet, but I heard it's supposed to be, as Viviana would say, G to the B busters. How do you zoom in? I've never seen that before. Oh, well, you just pinched. Oh, cool. Because I, the person that asked what you were answering, I said a lady, but they said I'm not a lady, LOL. I apologize for that. <laughs> You never know. I was calling Shaheen a dude for like six months before she's like, I'm not a man. I'm like, I'm sorry, Shaheen. Shaheen, our great Flav City fan in Dubai. There we go. And we're back. Jill says, how long after the video is done uh, being live will it go up? Is it immediate? I like to make the pasta after the chicken is done. It is. It should be immediate, right? Yeah, immediate. Yeah. Absolutely. Immediately, my dear. Okay, guys, we're having a great time. It's 6.06 .06 in the East. It is 5.06 in Chicago. It is 3.06 in Seattle, Washington. Please leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Once again, especially I'm throwing that out so I can show it. Um, use my 30% off promo code to get your kettle on fire to make this dish or any dish you want. I can't tell you how much bone broth I use in five ingredient meals. Because when you have five ingredients, you got to make each one count. And bone broth counts in terms of flavor and texture and nutrient density. 30% off using my promo code down below. Down below means in the description box. So if you're on mobile, sometimes you have to click that little arrow right there. Go over to, Thri uh, to um, Kettle on Fire. Use code FLAVCITY to get 30% off of your order. It's only good for 48 hours there. And by the way, the recipe, a similar recipe for ramen is right there on flavcity.com. And if you want to get our cookbooks, either the diabetic keto one called Keto Meal Prep or Five Ingredients, just search Flav City on um, Amazon. And please leave an Amazon review if you have bought the book or if you plan to buy the book. Those are, are incredibly helpful for search rankings. All right, let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Watching from Hartford, Connecticut. What happened to the spare ribs last Sunday? What happened to them, Brad? I can't even say out loud. I can't even say out loud. We ate a lot and they were literally insane in the membrane. We smoked them for four hours. Um, next time I want to do the three, two, one method, which Traeger recommends. They were amazing. And we just got a big box from Bel Campo of more ribs, tomahawk steaks, sausages, a ribeyes, a Chateaubriand. I'm going to cook on the Traeger. It's going to be loco. Totally yeah. loco. We are loading up. I'm so happy I have that freezer out there. It's loaded with pasture-raised pork, grass-fed pasture-raised chicken, and grass-fed beef. Oh, there's no grass-fed chicken. Pasture-raised chicken, unbelievable stuff there. Jose gives a $5 super chat and says, will the Bobby Approved app work with any item in any store or particular items and stores? I usually shop at HEB in Texas. Jose, thank you for that, and you'll be happy to know it will work in any store anywhere they speak English. We'll need your help in the beginning because Brad and I have been categorizing tens of thousands of products, but there's other ones that we're not gonna quite get to. So in the beginning, we'll need you guys to scan. And sometimes it'll say, hey, can you snap a photo for our database? Sometimes it'll say, hey, we don't know if it's approved or yet because Bobby has to approve it. And I'll literally get a push on my phone as soon as Jose scans something in HEB. And I can go, nope, it's not Bobby approved and I'll tell you why. So in, a, I'd say a month or two, the app will be firing on all cylinders and we'll have every product at every grocery store categorized in the Bobby approved database. It's gonna be crazy, totally crazy. Jamiroquai JK crazy. 
virtual insanity, y'all. So do you know anything about a bone broth powder by Ancient Proteins? Um, my Lyme doctor has, hold on, has me on it. What do you think of the powder? It also has collagen in it. I think that's what Darla meant. Uh, yeah, so they, they all have collagen. There's natural collagen in there. When you do dry it out like that, I believe you have to use like a maltodextrin, which isn't terrible if it's like um, tapioca, but some have yeast extract too. You're much better off, in my opinion, drinking liquid. The only reason to get powdered is if you want a shelf-stable version in case you run out of this. Liquid is so much better because it's extracted fresh from the bones and the feet and stuff like that, and it's never dried. So I'd rather have this if I can. Uh, I'd say a powdered version would only be uh, like an emergency backup. But use my Flav City promo code for 30% off of that. That's what you want to drink a cup of every day. And then I cook. And I make recipes with bone broth for sauces, chili. Uh, what else do I use it for? I use it a lot for sauces. Like when I make my tacos, I make the beef and the onions and the garlic, and then I put my seasoning mix in there, and then I put a three quarters of a cup of uh, bone broth. And I let it reduce down to get nice and saucy. It's unbelievable. But there are so many, oh, I wonder where that went. Whole Foods gift card. <laughs> There's so many recipes in here that, um, use the bone broth because it's so important and there's a really cool chapter here called it's all about that broth Desi thought of that one and in that one i say hey if you don't want to buy kettle and fire it's fine here's a recipe to make your own with grass-fed beef bones but here's a five ingredient red thai scallop soup and i, I le legit say why i love bone broth why my favorite one is kettle and fire but why it's so important Scallop meatballs make the uh, soup so creamy because the scallops are very, very creamy. Lentil curry stew with five ingredients, nutrient dense red split lentils. Italian wedding soup, five ingredient with bone broth, rayos, ground turkey, fusil, uh, fusilli red lentil pasta from Thrive Market. And the bone broth, a little bit of wine or vinegar, bones, aromatics, and salt, you know, and then the Bobby approved app, which we thought would be ready when the book came out and it hasn't been ready and this book's been out since December 1st. So I've got probably 500 emails from people saying I'm searching the app store and I can't find it. Where is it? And I have to copy and paste. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. So, but just like every other cookbook, they all have photos. They all have macros, nutritional information. This one has a ton of recipes from Desi that are hundred percent gluten-free and paleo. And they're amazing recipes that have all my shopping knowledge in here. So check out five ingredient meals on Amazon. You're going to love it. So two things. Uh, Valerie says, I just purchased a bone broth, but there is no place to put in the code. No, there definitely is a place to do it. Uh, click my link. Let's see. You got to do it on the checkout page, Valerie. Right here? Yep. It's definitely there. So add something to your cart. Oh, there's ready. And then... Yeah, you click checkout, and then on the checkout page, it says enter your coupon. Yes, yeah, so you actually, I'll show this real quick. You actually have to go to the checkout page to do it. So right here, enter Flav City. So when you do that, see the total is 48 bucks or whatever, and then boom, it takes off $14. So there you go. 30%, baby. That's how we roll for you. Only the best products, only the best coupons. And don't forget also, paste the uh, promos page again, Brad. All my active promos, Brad and Desi worked on it, created a new landing page, flavecity.com slash promos. Brad will paste the link. It has my Thrive Market, best in class seed probiotic. I believe it's Bobby gets you 15% off. If you're in the market for a probiotic, by far the best probiotic that is literally a game changer because it has a capsule within a capsule. So the outer capsule dissolves in your tummy and is made of pomegranate. It has fiber and the inner capsule goes through your large intestine to your colon and delivers 24 strains of bacteria. This is literally the best thing on the market. So get on the waiting list for that because I've been talking about it so much. And then once again, you can't go wrong with this. This is the home air purifier that Brad turned me on to called the Air Doctor the best air purifier at removing allergens, pollutants, smells, and other kind of volatile organic chemicals in your house. 
you leave it on all the time. It is the best thing. It's about 330 bucks. That's with my promo. It's not cheap, but it's unbelievable. We have two in the house, and I believe it's 30 days risk-free, so you can go to that promos page, check it out. But like we talked about earlier, Jackie Haddam Spiegel was loving it. Rachel Murray was loving it. And it's really good at purifying the air and smells and um, dust and stuff like that. Cassie Davis gives uh, $10 super chat and says, I'm late, just got off work. Today's dish sounds yummy. Uh, Cassie, great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. She's a huge supporter. And then Island Princess Gurley gives $15 and says, definitely get in the book ASAP. Thank you, Island Yay. Princess, you sweetheart. Oh, this is looking good. I wish we had the overhead cam. So this is looking really thick and luscious here. My, oh my. I'm gonna drop the noodles in now, but I wanna check it for seasoning because there's a chance it might need more miso or probably salt, to be honest. But this is so rich. It looks like that tonkotsu, tonkotsu uh, ramen that cooks for like 48 hours and the pork emulsifies into the broth. Really hot, so I'm being careful here. Oh man, that is so good. I'd say a little more salt. But the umame, what'd you call my mommy? The umame, the flavor of the fermented chickpea miso, the flavor of the mushrooms with the fattiness and lusciousness of the bone broth. I gotta show you this tomorrow. You gotta see inside this pot, come here. And the ghee, everything's just coming together for culinary bliss, come here. I'm gonna take you for a little trip. You gotta see inside this pot here. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. Wow, look at that. All right, just a little bit of technique and some really good ingredients. Oh, do I mean show you? I thought tonkatsu was the one with the uh, pork belly. Maybe it's show you, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh, that is so good. The girls are out there chilling, hanging out. I think Rose is naked, so we can't show. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna go to Desi's phone so I can do another story because that looks amazing. Valerie says, thank you, Brad. I emailed them, they will fix it in regards to not getting the discount uh, kettle on fire for you. Oh, hopefully they do. Did you check it. out without doing it? I think. Oh, bummer. Total bummer. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab Desi's phone. Can I grab so your phone for a second? Uh, hey, Nikki Bakey. <laughs> wow, Cassie. Nikki Bakey's my doctor two years ago. Friend in California bought one. Yes, huge for the fires on the West Coast. Can I show you this chicken? Oh, look at that. It was on the Traeger for 45 minutes at 450 degrees and has a ton of smoke flavor there. It's taking a nap. But should we show them this bread? Got to. Okay, this soup, you guys, has only been bubbling for about 25 minutes, but look at it. The ghee is emulsifying with that beautiful bone broth and the umame flavor from that mushrooms. I just tried it. It is legit. Beautiful. <laughs> Can you scroll back and make sure I didn't show Rose naked out there? I'm pretty sure I didn't. You gotta be careful. Rose is like always naked these days. <laughs> you gotta be very, very careful where you point the camera. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I moved the camera just in time. Okay, so I have my noodles here, but I kind of compare it to like a bird's nest. I mean, they kind of clump all together like that. So what I like to do is run my knife through them just a couple times. And then you don't have to do it, but I'm just gonna rinse it just in case there's any like funky smell from the package, which I, I find these actually aren't too smelly. And the annoying thing is that my local Whole Foods only has soybean based shiratakis and we don't eat soy for the most part, unless it's like fermented, uh, fermented uh, tamari soy sauce. So I have to go to uh, Publix, which I'm not a huge fan of. But someone said it's buy one, get one for kettle, right? Wow. Yeah. Yep. They do have really good sales there. I will give them that. 
They had buy one, get one free for the pasta zero a few weeks ago. And um, I got that. Schmoops Adventures gives a super chat of $5. It says, quick question, what's better, non-organic pasture-raised eggs or organic factory? I mean, cage-free eggs. Easy, non-organic pasture-raised. Easy, which by the way, the 18 pack bread is on sale at um, Whole Foods. And I think oh, it's it, on sale? Yeah, the 18 pack non-organic. Oh. Right, we get the organic one. Um, but the, the regular Vital Farms is on sale for, I wanna say like five-ish dollars for Amazon Prime. This is the one we get. This is the 18 pack Vital Organic one. It is the best egg you can get at a grocery store. It's $9.99 but they have a $1 off coupon on their website. Just search Google for Vital Farms coupon. So $8.99, or no, is it $8.99 for 18 is actually a pretty good deal. Nancy Rojas gives a super chat of $2. Thank you so much. Nancy, thank you, my sweet dear. We gotta eat these. Brad bought these the other day. We still haven't tried these yet. These are the base culture. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, let's have them for dessert tonight. <laughs> Maybe crumble them on some Coconut Bliss ice cream. Like Viviana style. Yeah. Nutty pumpkin bread. We love base culture. This, these are the girls who make the keto bread, but they make this paleo uh, pumpkin bread here that is just so darn good with best in class ingredients. And um, Brad drove last weekend to a grocery store 40 minutes away and got the most amazing, I don't know if we showed these yet on YouTube, the most amazing ice cream sandwiches ever. So you guys know I've been raving over coconut bliss ice cream. It's so delicious. No, it's so delicious, not so delicious the ice cream. Well, now they came out with ice cream sandwiches that have the most next level ingredients I've never seen in my life, but they have it nowhere close to us. So Brad drove like almost two hours around trip. Look at this, you guys. So the ice cream in the sandwich here, let me try to focus on here. That's very blurry. Because it's pink. You probably can't see that. Eh. You can't see. Oh, you may, you may have to center it in the camera more. Yeah. There we go. So the ice cream is coconut based and it's actually sweetened with coconut syrup, which is um, liquid coconut um, um, nectar. But the cookie, the cookie is actually made with gluten free sprouted grains like brown, brown rice flour. It's got coconut sugar in there. It's got flax seeds. This is amazing. It's not it's cheap. It's like five bucks or something. But this ice cream sandwich is the most heavenly thing that God has ever given us. And it's dairy free. And it's made with best in class ingredients. That and their coconut bliss ice cream. Their cookie dough one. And their peanut butter chocolate. Which one would you vote for if you had to choose one, Brad? Uh, chocolate peanut butter and then chocolate chip cookie dough. They have this at Sprouts Farmer's Market. It is the most amazing and low sugar and has paleo ingredients. There's no, there's no cane sugar. It's uh, agave nectar. And the, and the uh, cookie dough one is amazing too. This is the most amazing dairy-free ice cream in the planet. So I missed the soup chat earlier um, by Raichi that said, what do you guys, um, what, what does Bobby think about Dr. Eric Berg? Uh, Dr. Eric Berg. Oh, I love him. Yeah, I love Berg's channel. He's great. He's loaded with knowledge. Yeah, he knows exactly what's going on. And then Danita gives a super chat of $5 and says, um, three different kinds of ramen are all made with pork. I, I would definitely botch that pronunciation. <laughs> Shoyo, uh -huh. Shayo, and Tankotsu. Oh, Tankotsu. So I am right. Okay. The Tankotsu. Hmm. I feel like it needs one more thing. Either salt or maybe a touch of lime juice. Let me know. A little more salt. And then I think a little squeeze of lime juice might give it a nice edge. Where's my, there we go. So Jill's been cooking along on the live stream. And really? Says, My chicken is almost ready. How long do I let it rest? Um, I would let it rest under tin foil for at least 10 minutes, ideally 20 minutes. Because it's a whole chicken and it really needs to redistribute those juices. Just a little bit of lime juice like that. <laughs> I mean, look, it's loaded. I put a ton of noodles in there. Maybe too much, but it's okay. It is a, well, it is a soup after all, ramen. 
There were a lot of comments. I'm just scrolling up, trying not to miss any of the comments. Ooh, a I lot of it. comments about the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I'll do it. It's crazy. Talked about it on the stories, and uh, people flocked out to buy it. The brand is supposed to send us some. He said it's been on the way now for quite some time. We haven't got it yet. It's like, dude, stop teasing us. Just send us the, the ice cream already. We're dying for it. Okay, this is done. So here's what I want to do. I want to pour some bowls, let it cool down. And then when it comes to ramen, you can top it with whatever your heart desires, obviously. Okay, let me get my lotto. In the book, I do a ramen egg, which means you just kind of like boil the egg for seven minutes and then um, cool it down and it's soft and liquidy in the middle. It's delicious. A super chat from Rachel Murray comes in. She's back. Just comes in. Our three-year-old pit bull loves kettle and fire bone broth with this food. Wow, that is awesome. Ella, loving the coconut bliss chocolate walnut brownie ice cream. Yeah. Still out of the sandwiches. Yeah. Bummer. See, that's good. To feed your dog that is really, really wow. nice. That's awesome. <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, it's not cheap, but that as opposed to processed dog food. I have a dog food review, actually. Processed dog food basically going to give your dogs cancer. They have these oils in there, all these simple grains and simple carbs. It's so bad what they put in dog food. It's terrible. Good dog food is miles better than bad dog food. You could also season this with, uh, with uh, sriracha if you wanted to, toasted sesame oil, I mean, whatever you want. The world is your oyster mushroom. <laughs> yeah, get a couple. I just ordered the seed probiotic and there's a three to five week wait. There is because I've been talking about it so much and then my friend Erica talked about it so much, but they might get it back in a little sooner. And with my promo code Bobby, which uh, Brad can uh, give you the promos page, with Bobby you get 15% off your first month supply and they have a 30 day uh, back money guarantee and they ship international. So try it out. If you don't love it, you could always cancel. But code Bobby gets you 15% off your first month's supply. And the seed probiotic will change your bowel movements if you need them, but it goes way beyond that. Gut health, microbiome health, skin, in general, immune system. And they're coming out with a product that I don't think I can talk about yet, but it's gonna be a game changer for oral care. When they told me about it, I was like, oh my God, like never heard of that before. So two super chats yes. came in. Uh, one for five dollars is the ground lamb at Aldi. Good quality. Yeah, if you watch my video today about Aldi finds, it is. It's very good Australian grass-fed lamb, and it's way cheaper than anywhere else. And Schmoops Adventure uh, gives a twenty-dollar super chat. Just oh wow! Just because both of your cookbooks are worth more to us than we paid them. <laughs> super nice. Keep on keeping on. Mad love and peace. Thank you, Schmoops. I appreciate that. Totally appreciate that. Very sweet. What a great community we have, you guys. That's why I'm so eager to uh, get the app into your hands. That's why I'm so eager to get the cookware set, which is going to be the most unique and useful cookware set the market has ever seen later this year. We're hoping to get it ready for um, Christmas season. And then the keto lemonade and pink lemonade for the summer, the keto diabetic friendly hot cocoa mix for the winter with best in class ingredients. We got you covered, y'all. Covered. That's only because I have a great community and fan base that I get to do all this stuff and share it and take the time to explore new ventures. So thank you for all the support and spreading that Flav City love. The best thing you can do is tell your friends and family about Flav City and make that community even bigger. Rosa's is going to love this broth too. See, I never make enough for leftovers. It's because I, I use my last bone broth. I have enough just for tonight. And this is the kind of soup that honestly gets better the next day. I guess all soup does, to be honest. You guys like my new shirt? I just got this in the mail today. It's from that great company, Roan. And I wear these kind of shirts every day, so I need more styles. And I saw this on their website. I get one for Rose, honey. 
little bowl, baby bowl for roast honey. Roast honey per bunniper, my sweet love. A couple questions about the asking if the app is going to be free at first. It's going to be free at first and hopefully forever. It should be free. Absolutely. You know it. We've actually put a ton of money into it, like probably twice what I was expecting, but it's worth it. We'll get it back. Where, uh, we won't have ads on there, but we'll probably feature my favorite Bobby approved brands and give discount codes and stuff. But we're not going to have like pop-up ads, but I don't want to make it um, a fee for the community. I think it should be free. Because we love free stuff. Oh my God, this looks beautiful. Oh my God. Look at these bowls, you guys. Paul asks, could you mix kettle fire with another organic broth? Interesting. Um, like another bone broth or just like a, a veggie broth? Or See, you could if you wanted to like save it, but you got to keep in mind, most store-bought broths or stocks aren't that high <laughs> quality and they usually have like a caramel coloring or natural flavoring. But yeah, if you find a good one and you want to cut it, or sometimes like I'll just do like half bone broth and half water because I don't want to waste it. That's fine too. Absolutely. Okay. Jean says, Rose will do the dishes, LOL. She will yeah, right. do the dishes down there. Yeah. <laughs> right, our chicken has thoroughly rested here. Wow. This is like super exciting. Before we carve it up, wow. the beauty of being the chef is I get to eat the wing. So Brad, you're going to get one wing. I'm going to get the next. I'm going to make the meat umbrella for Brad so he can just Get the chicken off of there. There you go. Oh, wow. This is my favorite part. I'm going to smoke wings on my Traeger. I have some pasture-raised uh, chicken wings. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, wow. Mmm. Yeah, this one is, I would say, better than but the first one you did. I overcooked the first one just a, a skosh. This one's fantastic. Dang. Oh, the flavor on that. And just a kiss of smoke from the Traeger. And dynamite. Mm. Gina gives a super chat of $10 and says, I have severe neuro, uh, neuropathy pain and loss. I lost any uh, will to live. One of my doctors suggested watching your channel for healthy eating ideas. In four months, I lost 43 pounds. Whoa. Thank you for your channel. Wow. That's a lot of awesome yes, stuff. Yeah, it's amazing, Gene. I'm so glad that you're naked, Rose. The doctor recommended, hey, you're, you can't go up here naked, Rose. Sweetie, can you grab Rose? She doesn't have any clothes on. Thank you, Gina. And thank you to the, what, That's awesome what's that? That you're cooking for your dad. That's really awesome. Yeah, I'm just about done. Can you just uh, grab her? Rachel Murray comes in with a bomb of a super chat, $50. Love the Flave City fam, mad love to you and all you do. So appreciative of all you do. You've changed me and my hubby's life. Rachel is just the sweetest supporter from San Quentin. Thank you, Rachel. And then Schmoops, be careful with the rose right there, Bob. Um, yeah, that's tin foil rose. Yeah. Schmoops says, knowing what we know about seed oils, Via Super Chat, by the way. Thank you. How does the American Heart Association still get away with labeling canola oil as heart healthy? Watch the documentary I talked about earlier on Amazon called Fat Fiction, and you'll see why. It's all about money and payoff. It's, it's a joke, man. It's a total joke. Wow, this chicken is exquisite. Oh, my God. Wow, this looks amazing. Amazing, right? <laughs> totally amazing. All right, guys, we are salivating here. The chicken is rested and ready. The soup is poured here. It looks unbelievable. It looks like, I was saying, one of those broths, those traditional ramen broths that are cooked for like 48 hours, but this was done in like 30 minutes. The problem with those broths is it's very traditional in Japanese ramen to actually use MSG. That stuff is devastating for your health. Powdered man-made MSG is terrible. Natural MSG found in... Uh, mushrooms and Parmesan cheese and tomatoes, that's good. Look at this chicken. Cooked perfectly on the Traeger grill. Look at that. Juicy chicken breast for the win with ramen. Woohoo! Boom! Ren Hen says, do not forget to put the scallions on top. Oh yeah, I have them right here. Thank you so much. I actually was totally going to forget that. Mm-hmm. 
me just separate the chicken here. And then Jill asks, how do you suggest cutting a the chicken that is not spatchcock? Um, hold on, hold on, Rosie. One, one second, Rosie. Hold Mommy's on. putting some clothes on you. Um, not spatchcocked. You gotta like, uh, closed off. same way you would kind of do like a turkey, you just gotta be a little more careful. I really enjoy the spatchcocking method though. One second, Rosie. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's done. Oh, suck. That was a rose portion too. Ah. Spill the soup? Yeah, and I barely have any left. She have some mine. Arrgh. All right, we're sharing with Dad, Rose. No, she, she can have some Maya. I don't. We're going to skim off of everyone else's now, Rose. That broth. Spilling that beautiful broth I spent so long making. Rose loves her broth. Okay. Turk says, Brett, I'm sure you don't want a bowl. I'll take yours. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm making a mess. Lisa asked, Bobby, when are you getting that cholesterol test? Yeah, uh, good, good call. I need to uh, schedule that for sure. I'm so interested, and I want to make a video out of that. Uh, let me just garnish real quick, and then we're done -zo. Now i got to clean up the mess I make. This is ready for dinner. Good. Spilled that beautiful broth. I know. I wasted that broth. <laughs> the texture of that broth is actually really nice too. Yeah, this for you. It's hot. Careful. Mm -hmm. Actually, break apart that chicken if you wanted to, and just put it into the soup. Oh yeah. Right? If you wanted to, I'm not going to do that. Because then that beautiful crust is going to get soggy. All right, green onions go there. Careful, Rosie. It might be hot. Green onions go there. Is it hot? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, love. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you got a blow, wow, blow, blow, awesome blow. comment. I ordered the kettle on fire with your code. It saved almost $15 and use those savings to order your five ingredient Whoa. cookbook. Thanks. Whoa, that's a savvy consumer. Dang, y'all. Careful, Rosa. Look at that. Let me just show you guys what's up. I mean, who doesn't want to make this? I put the recipe in the description box. It's slightly different than the one I made, but look at that. Loaded with yumminess there. Yeah, Brad, you gotta try it alive. Rachel Murray, our pit has a very sensitive stomach and bone, and the bone broth is a game changer. That's well, awesome. Not just for the dog, but <laughs> for <laughs> healing to the human body. The human so gut talk. is incredibly uh, receptive to uh, bone broth. It's got the like uh, chondroitin in there. Very gut friendly. So once again, use my promo link down below. This kind of 30% off sale only happens once every 45 to 60 days or something like that. Blue moon. Blue moon, right? Kettle on fire. Link down below. If you don't know where that is, just go to Kettle on Fire website. Use code FLAVECITY for 30% off your entire order. Free shipping until Sunday. Then it's over, and then the next blue moon will happen again. Brad, try that and give us your honest feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And then we got to have the chicken, too. Hey, Rose. I'm just going to cut some chicken for you guys. You really want water, Rose? No, no water. I don't think you want water. We gotta stop with this water all the time. She fills up on water and then she doesn't eat. Awesomeness. Awesomeness, right? Mm-hmm. Got that chicken, chicken right there. Wow. So good, babe. So good. Wow. Um, Money. I'm making, and the chicken I did nothing to. Salt and pepper, a little bit of ghee here and there. Mm-hmm. I get bothered. All right, guys. 
That's it. We're done. Be back Sunday. I'm not sure Sunday morning or Sunday night yet for a Thrive Market live stream. Hopefully the cereal stays in stock until then. Uh, but awesome time hanging out. Um, that is it. Use the promo code for Kettle and Fire. Have a great night. Uh, but Brad and Desi and myself and Rose and Baba Dunny, wherever she is, we'll see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace and epic Costco video. <laughs> say peace? Epic Costco video coming tomorrow and Sunday because the April sale is huge. I made a two-parter. Rose, hold your hands up like this. Say peace. Go like that. Peace. Wow, Sophia, I just had I just bought two hundred hours worth of bone broth. Wow, Sophia, good call. Going out with a bang. You gotta go big or go home. <laughs> Say bye, Rosie. Bye everyone.